In this week's physics class, we'll be talking about projectile motion and specifically falling bodies uh, with a non-constant velocity. The reason why uh, projectile motion has to be analyzed like this is typically it has two components of an X and Y as it's traveling through the air. It's not just going in a straight line. So we'll be taking some of what we learned of the calculus concepts from last week and kind of advancing on them. And I have a pretty strong foundation in this from AP Physics in high school, so I'm not too worried about how well I'll do in it. However, I do believe that I'll need more practice, and I think I might practice before uh, kind of even going to the lectures on it because I do want to be more confident with it since I recognize it as a simple concept that I think I'm fairly good at uh, compared to the other topics of physics. I definitely want that to be my thing or something of the sort. And one thing that I did learn uh, kind of in past lectures uh, from last week and in the review videos was that two bodies are actually applying the same magnitude of force on each other uh, in relation to gravity and gravitation, which is something that I don't want to say conceptually, but just every every instinct in my body would tell me that the forces are not equal. But then I guess when I think about it a little bit more with a physics mind, as Dr. Fenton would say, it, it does seem to make more sense. So other than that, I think that projectile motion isn't fully tied to biomedical engineering. I'm kind of in a niche major uh, at Georgia Tech where I have to take a lot of sciences and then I kind of come up with a way to bring them together. But as I was preparing for this video, I was actually hanging out with some of my buddies and we were talking about how, uh, like my interest is prosthetic technology and I want to do rehabilitation. And I was like, dude, it would be so cool to like take a football player who was injured and I build something where then he can play football again. And one of my buddies is a comp sci major and he's like, dude, I could write a program that I could chart his spiral of it of football he's throwing. And I was like, oh my God, that is physics. I said that in my head. I didn't obviously say that out loud, but then I clicked and I did think about how it's not necessarily biomedical engineering that it, it will apply to, but it's what biomedical engineering can translate and can create that projectile motion is uh, closely related to. Other than that, I think that at the macro level of projectile motion, I am confident and I believe I will do very well in. But some videos that I reviewed uh, by, of course, the Organic Chemistry Tutor is something uh, that I cite often as a really good resource. I like the way he publishes his videos, but I also found somebody new that I had never used before uh, called Professor Dave Explains on YouTube. And he uses really cool infographics and videos uh, that kind of make it cartoony and a lot more fun than just kind of the blackboard that uh, professors and Khan Academy like to use and organic chemistry tutor. So I'm eager to definitely try out the new ones.